Okay, this is Hayden from Converge, and I'm just doing another little video of the ghosting locomotion system that I've been working on. And uh, so here's the kind of where I showed it last. Basically, left click to spawn a ghost. You can move that ghost around with WSD, just like you move around a normal game player in like any any sort of third person game. And then you click again to teleport to where the ghost is. So left click to spawn, left click again to teleport, and then you can right click to get rid of the ghost without teleporting. And while while the ghost is out or just, just regularly, you can always use Q and E to comfort mode spin around or the bumpers on the Xbox controller. So if the ghost kind of goes out of your vision, you can turn around. You can also just turn around with your actual head. But uh, sometimes but if you're uh, in a chair, you can't always turn all the way around. So q and &E is good for that. OK, so after I showed a few people that last, uh, that last mechanism of the ghosting, a few people suggested that I do a sort of picture-in-picture -picture view of what the ghost can see. So I did that, and this is what it looks like. So basically, this screen below me is showing from uh, a first-person view from the ghost's perspective. So you can navigate the ghost like a lot further with this because you can see <laughs> you can see where it's uh, where it's going even if you can't see the ghost anymore yourself. And then just click again to teleport. I'm incredibly excited. Okay, this is another little change I've made to the ghosting system and still works like normal. You have the ghost, you click to teleport where the ghost is, but when you don't have the ghost up, you can move really, really slowly with WASD or the arrow keys. So I found this is a really good trade-off for me. Um, it's, it, it solves that problem where you have to kind of, you feel locked when you, when you can't move at all. Um, especially in the DK2 where then you don't have as much tracking. It's, you don't want to spawn a ghost just to move like right next to me there. You just want to kind of move over. So I found that's really cool. Also another experiment, um, I can't show it right now, but when there's, when there's multiple people in here, I've made it so you can see their ghosts like moving around the world. And that's really cool. Uh, it's, just like, it's just really fun to play around with other people's ghosts and you can do like races and uh, different things in the worlds that uh, you can't do with just a sort of teleport point and teleport system. Um, so I think that's my big my big uh, kind of learning about this or kind of big thing. The reason I like this so much is that it's over just a kind of point and click teleport system, like the the blink system, is that you just it's it's really fun to just move this move this player around. And then there's some social benefits as well. Also with uh, with personal space, I've made it so you can't, if it, the avatar moves too close to another player, then you can't teleport there. So it, it, it prevents people from kind of moving right into another player and teleporting it inside of them, which in social VR is like, is actually a, a big issue uh, because it feels really weird <laughs> when somebody's inside you. Um, so I think that's about it. This is the system that we're, we're kind of sticking with for the, the short term. I'm going to push an update to converge with this using this system so more people can come in and try it. And I think that's all, all the experiments I did. Let me know if you want a, uh, like a, a private build of the picture-in-picture uh, -picture mode because uh, I'm not releasing that publicly in, in the, like, um, I'm not integrating that into Converge, but I can easily just send you a build if you want to play around with it and try it out. But apart from that, have a good one. Catch you later.